studying abroad as a one-of-a-kind adventure and is enriching in more ways than one. Which is why in today's video, I'm going to share with you my key tips on how you can maximize your study abroad experience and come home without any regrets. Hi, my name is Annie and I'm the founder and CEO at My Travel, where we are reimagining the group travel planning experience. A quick fun fact about myself is that during my final years of university, I actually went on two international exchanges, one to Europe and one to Asia during my undergraduate career, and traveled to over 15 countries and 25 cities within those eight months. It was absolutely amazing. But today's video isn't about myself. Instead, it's about how you can make the most of your experience. To start, we will be splitting this video into two topics. Number one, what will prevent you from having the time of your life as an exchange student? And two, what will help you make the most of your study abroad experience? Sounds great? Awesome! Let's begin. There are four things that you want to be extra careful of as it may hold you back from fully enjoying the study abroad experience. Especially when four months is already a short amount of time, you don't want to end up accidentally wasting it on focusing on the wrong areas. Which brings us to tip number one focusing solely on the academic aspects or learning a new language. While it is necessary to concentrate on your studies and it's highly beneficial to take advantage of the immersion that study abroad allows for when it comes to learning a new language, that's really not all there is to it. There is life outside the textbooks, be it campus life like extracurriculars or student clubs or city life like cultural activities and seasonal festivities. Also, depending on your university that you go to, the grade you receive abroad may or may not be as relevant as they would just convert back to your university as pass or fail. Unless you are applying for further education like master's or PhD, I wouldn't make getting straight A's your main goal and priority as a study abroad student. Tip number two. Thinking that you cannot afford any fun activities. Firstly, the fun does not have to be expensive. In fact, there are many ways for you to enjoy yourself without spending a single dime. Depending on where you are studying abroad at, some universities also provide free excursions, which include like city trips for short-term exchange students. Alternatively, you can also join your local university chapter of Erasmus Student Network, ESN for short, which is a non-for-profit international student organization that plans weekly to monthly day trips and excursions for fairly low cost, around like 5 to 20 euros. Keep in mind though, that is only limited towards um, European students, so study abroad students are studying across European um, university chapters. Since we are on the topic of money, um, while you may not be allowed to get a full-time job as an international student, there are some potential opportunities and options you could explore. So definitely consult with your local advisor and research all the options for employment on campus or remote base. Finally, another thing that helps is really identifying your recurring expenses and create a budget plan for the next four months that you are abroad for. Taking into consideration um, a budget for traveling and excursion, and that's also on your list. You can check out this video here if you plan on traveling with a group of people and want to learn how you can do that the best, even when you're on a strict budget. Tip number three, partying all day, every day. While the social aspect is important, you do want to carve some time out of your week to work on your assignments and studying for your exams. Yes, you don't want to be holed up in a library every single day, but you also don't want to be partying every single night that you end up pairing your classes. Think balance. You're studying abroad to experience the culture aspects as well as the education provided at your host university. Especially if you are going to an entirely new continent, you will be in for such a treat as to how different the educational system and teaching style is between North America, Europe, Asia, and more. Definitely use that towards your advantage. Tip number four, feeling that studying abroad was not the right decision for you. Many students have troubles leaving their home for a while and also have difficulty settling into a new environment. It's perfectly normal. Our brains, at the very core, is wired to keep us safe within our comfort zone, and I personally have been in this shoes myself before, and what has really helped me, as well as my fellow colleagues, is giving myself enough time to get comfortable and really embrace my new environment. Do some initial preparations before jetting off to a new country, you know, such as 
browsing the internet on what you can do in the new city, find where are some nearby countries that you can travel to, introduce yourself to your fellow colleagues or, or classmates, and so forth. Start hyping up your pre-departure experience and get the endorphins running. Now, coming up next, I will be talking about the key factors that will help you make the most of your study experience. But first, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below the city and country where you will be studying abroad at. Who knows, you might even find a fellow um, classmate below. As I'm sure you already know, going to a foreign country is a fantastic opportunity. So make the most of it by exploring new things and try not to limit yourself. What I mean is whenever an opportunity presents itself, taste some new food, visit a new place, try a new activity, and meet new people. If you constantly limit yourself, you will not only fail to make the most of your study abroad experience, but such an attitude can also be a predictor of other aspects of your life. For example, it can appear academic as well as your professional progress, ultimately hindering your personal growth and development. Remember, we will always lack time, we will never have enough money, and we will all face problems some point in our life. But don't let that prevent you from experiencing your time abroad to the fullest. It is possible to make the most of this time if you try. Which brings us to our advice on how. Tip number one, get out of your comfort zone. First and foremost, if you have come to your host country of a group, break away from it. Yes, it may be challenging, but if you stay together, you will miss out on the chance to do, see, and try something new. Meet your people and make connections that may even last a lifetime. Not to mention that it will likely hamper your language learning process and progress if you choose to stick to the status quo and only converse in your mother tongue. Also, spending time away from people that you know from your culture or home country will help widen your horizons. You will learn more about the local culture and their way of life. Only that way will you have a real international experience. Tip number two, expand your social circle. You will go to classes and be with a particular group. You will also have other group activities with other international students. While these are great ways to meet someone new, don't limit yourself to just them only, right? Like try to make connections with the locals. This way you will understand the new culture even better and may even make a new friend for life, which is invaluable. The best part, meeting locals can actually open so many doors for you. From getting invited to various local events, being introduced to other locals, or even receiving an opportunity to intern in a local company. This actually happened to me way back then. Even though I didn't take it in the end, it was still a pretty cool option to have. Keep your mind open, you know, meet people and see what opportunities lies. Tip number three, organize trips to explore the city and beyond. Whenever you can, travel. Whether it's within a group or alone by yourself, take a weekend or a few days every month to visit your surrounding neighborhoods or even the countries around the area you're studying abroad at. Explore the areas, see the sites, and also don't forget to strike up a conversation with people you come across along the way. When else but now will you get the chance and luxury to travel whenever and wherever you like. If you need any quick tips on how to effectively plan a group trip, make sure to check out this video where I share my 5 tips of how you can plan an enjoyable group vacation stress-free. Most importantly, you definitely need to try out our My Travel Planning Board where you can create a trip board, save your travel ideas, and start organizing your day-to-day -day itinerary, be it by yourself or with a group of your friends. Tip number four, expect the culture shock and deal with it. Adapting to a new environment will take some time getting used to and it will be an emotional journey. Once you become an international student, you cease to be a tourist which means studying abroad means having a deeper relationship with the new country and culture, hence culture shark. However, embrace the fact that it is perfectly normal, everyone goes through it, and how fast you will adjust will depend on how different your culture is, your character, and other factors as well. Still, you can also mitigate the difficulties by immersing yourself in the new culture, learning about it, meeting new people, and learning the language itself. Also, go out, fill the day of fun activities, get to know the area, and try to behave like a local. Which brings us up to our last tip of tip number five, keep a journal and document your journey. While you're abroad, you can expect to have some good days and some bad days. Of course, never let the later ones overshadow the good ones. 
So keep a journal and wear it by your feelings and experience, both the good and the bad. It is highly beneficial as it will allow you to vent when the going gets rough and it would be a fantastic reminder of all the great moments you have had. And if journaling is too outdated for you, perhaps you can opt for blogging or vlogging. Or better yet, utilizing social media like Instagram or TikTok as a visual journal. You can make the most of your study of bar experience if you give yourself the tools to succeed. If you go out, meet people, and embrace the new culture, try new things, and explore, you will undoubtedly gain the confidence you will benefit from for your entire life. Consider these tips when you begin planning your studies abroad. Also, read about the places you are going to before you actually arrive. By doing so, you will not only know what to expect, but you will also feel somewhat familiar with it. Living in this day and age has one tremendous advantage, and that is the wonders of the internet. Use it to your advantage. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video and like to see more content around this topic, do let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more updates. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!